Good morning, everyone. So I just pulled out to another very special lake that's pretty close to me. Um, it's called Bowler's Bar. Kind of show you guys it. It's the, the dam. Water's at a pretty good level. I mean, it looks like you can only get about one boat down the lane right now. But uh, yeah, it looks like a nice day. It's not gonna be super windy like it has been the last few days. So, I'll show you guys real quick. Land of the Giants. So, been probably a little over a year now since I've been here. So I figure, why not give it a shot? Get that fall bike going. Try some things I, I haven't really tried before out here because normally what works out here is just like a, a big pink worm. But I just, I don't feel like throwing a big pink worm today. So I'm gonna try the top water, some glide baits, maybe some rip baits. Might try a few of those jigs that uh, I've been doing quite a few uh, giveaways like on my social media, my Facebook and Instagram and stuff. Feel free, you can follow me on that. But I've been making these jigs and they're just real simple brown on brown jigs. I'll show you real quick. But I don't know. I think they might work. Throw a little twin tail grub or a little rage car on the back. Me if we can't get one on that too. So, but yeah, just got a, got a little bag full of them. And give those a shot. For anyone that doesn't know about Bowler's Bar, currently holds the world record for spotted bass. And don't quote me on the the weight of that fish. I think it was in the 11s or high 10s or something. I know it's been broken a few times, but. I'm not really out here to try to break that record. I'm just out here to kind of fun fish. If I catch a big one like that too, you might see me scrounging and trying to hit up some game wardens or fishing games, see if I can get a certified scale. But we'll see what happens. Just gonna be out here and have some fun and see if I can't show you guys a few things. Got the best spot in the house. <laughs> Just about. I'm excited to get out here. It's like I said, it's been a while. So when I was launching the boat, I looked down at the water and it's crystal clear. Just has me thinking. Those big baits. I think they're gonna. They might be calling some fish up. You know, either with a top water or or glide bait or you know maybe even a rip bait. Never know until uh get all the rods on the deck and give them a shot. Like I said, we're just gonna have some fun today and see if we can't catch any fish and hope, hoping for a big one.
Probably more like a pound and a quarter. Uh, they're getting better. So the setup I'm using the drop shot with, um, I have a Dobbins Champion Extreme uh, 702 Finesse Special. It's older, like chameleon style. Um, I have a 2500 RG, Daiwa RG, 10 pound. a uh, what do you call it it's a gamagatsu split shot drop shot hook size one um, i'm doing uh they call it uh, it's called a palomar knot and that's how i'm getting my uh, tie my drop shot set up so you tie the palomar knot but you leave an extra long tag in i'm using four and a half inch Morning Dawn Robo Works. And the weight I'm using is a quarter ounce uh, finesse drop shot weight. I like that quarter ounce because it gets down faster than like an eighth or three sixteenths and um, it just makes it to where I can feel, feel it a lot better. Uh, so let's see if we can't catch more. So far, it's one of those days. <laughs> Trying out that jigs I made. I'm gonna be giving away in this <clears throat> coming contest. Just a small little, little finesse, you know, football head. It's perfect for you know, spotted bass or Real small profile. Let's keep it going.
big old lunker punker. This is a six inch. This little fish crushed it. <laughs> Got a midday update. So far it's it's been a slow kind of small fish day. Um, haven't seen any giants, haven't caught any, hooked into any giants. Um, just kind of been a little dink here and there. And uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and run up river. I'm kind of fishing around a little main body. Um, I think I'm gonna hit a few points on the way up, up river first, and then I might hit a, uh, a waterfall up there. So, see what happens. Catching fish the size of this thing. Just about. <laughs> Hoping for that one big one just to just to come up. What this is is a I just got my hands on it, but it's a six inch lunker bunker. Black dog baits. I forget what the name of this color is, but so far it's caught me two or three fish. I mean, which isn't much, but it's kind of kind of a slow day. If I threw this thing long enough, I get one, a decent one. I mean, it's not a normal freaking big old bullard spot, but you know, if we're just coming out here randomly just to, you know, kind of see how the bite is. I mean, I'll take that. Man, that fish is all jacked up. It's, it's jaw. Shoot. Man, he crushed this thing though. That was fun.
Man, I don't know if I can get any smaller. <sighs> I'm gonna finish up on this point and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. Tired of catching these small fish. It was a little bit bigger than what I've been catching, but not by much though. Starting to catch them all of a sudden. It's like going up the river, getting more numbers. Ripping too. Damn, they're just, just crushing that rip bait. Man, seems like that's that's been producing the best for me today. So I guess I'll kind of show you the setup I got for my, my rip bait. Um, so I got it paired up, uh, got a 704 Dobbins Champion CB. Um, I got it paired up with a Lose uh, Speed Spool. And I have 10 pound fluorocarbon. I'm getting real low, you can probably see that. Let me get some more line. And uh, so I got 10 pound fluorocarbon. Then I'm using a Mega Bass Vision uh, 110 plus one. There's like a Wakasagi color. I forgot the exact name of it. Um, but it's, been, it's been working pretty good. I've been stuck on these uh, Mega Bass lately for jerk baits and you know, really, I, I can't go anywhere without it on the deck now. You know, it's just become a, a confidence bait of mine. So, I'll do a few more casts, and if I don't get nothing, then I'm just gonna call it a day. It's about 4.30, almost five now, and uh, I'm about an hour, hour and 20 minutes away from, uh, from home. So, do a few more casts, see what happens.
ride everyone calling it a day uh, just pulling up to the, um, the marina about to get my boat loaded up overall I had a good time you know caught most of our fish today on a rip bait um, got that one decent fish on the uh, that top water I th cut it on a six inch lunker punker um, I didn't weigh that fish but it looked somewhere between two and a half and three it was right in that little creek channel threw that lunker punker right in the mouth of it and just destroyed it um, that was the best fish I had all day I was really hoping to get one of those uh, those bullards giants but you know it's kind of how it goes you got to come out here <laughs> like three to five times before you catch one decent one or you really got this place down some guys come out here catch them every trip you know me i really don't i've i've been out here and i've i've had good days but i've had more bad days than good my best day of fishing was actually out here we had a a club tournament about i don't know say how was it two years ago it was the last year i forget it was like a tournament in February. I'll put some pictures of uh, our tournament, weighing the fish and uh, holding the fish up. We weighed, my buddy Chris and I, we were fishing and we weighed 24 and a half pounds. I had uh, a nine, a nine pound kicker, an eight and a half, and like a six. Um, I think there was a four in there. And then my buddy Chris, he caught a 13 incher. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> bringing this up but uh yeah that was that had to be the best day of fishing i've ever had just smashed them um but yeah like i said overall I had a good time today just uh none of those giants but you know you never know you just got to come out and put the time in and, and you're bound to catch one so we got a club tournament this coming weekend on uh, lake shasta so i'm planning on getting up there on saturday probably do a little filming during pre-fish um, just try to find them and then Sunday I'm gonna go balls to the wall just try to catch five big ones so you know if I might be able to get out before then um, but we'll see I'm a local boy here you know out of Orville California I fish a lot of the surrounding lakes and you know if you're curious how the lakes are fishing and stuff you know comment down below next lake you want me to hit up you know, on my social media and stuff, I had a little contest today. Had people guessing where I was going to go next, and whoever uh, whoever guessed it correctly, I would put in a, a random you know drawing, and they would win a package of jigs. So, and oh, the contest is still going on too. Uh, once we hit 250 subscribers, I'm gonna put uh, a pack of like 10 jigs together. When I do hit 250 subscribers, I'll have you guys like the video and comment below. You know telling me what you want to see next you know what do you think about the channel you know just comment and make sure you're subscribed and if, if you're subscribed i'll go ahead and put you in the drawing and go ahead and select you hope you guys like the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and you know share it you know tell all your friends y'all have a good one